hello everyone welcome again to my channel thank you for subscribing thank you for liking commenting and sharing of course thank you so today i will be showing you guys how i made this butterfly locks from scratch so my clients had a uh, two to three inches natural hair very tough natural hair to fair when she told me she wanted to have this style and she wasn't sure her hair was gonna achieve this style i told her okay i've had a couple of people you know uh, with short hair and of course they were able to achieve braids and butterfly locks so the video she sent to me was actually you know different from what i saw when she came for her appointment of course you really cannot trust what you get online so when she came i was actually skeptical but well we just gotta do what we gotta do so um for this butterfly locks i did not use spring twist yes so that's why you have done the title but um butterfly locks from scratch without spring twist yes you can achieve your butterfly locks without spring twist what i used here was the mali hair if you guys know mali hair and um, water wave hair so that's what you can use instead of the spring twist why did i use water wave so i used water wave because the length of the water wave you know is way longer than that of the spring twist and it will just save you a lot save you a lot of time save you a lot of energy she wanted a butterfly locks long i think up to bum length and for me to achieve this with spring twists it will require you know lots of spring twist and of course it's more money but water wave is just the way to go and i think i prefer water wave because it doesn't look or busy and heavy per se unlike spring twist where you have all the you know spikes and everything so um this method is easy why because as you can see i did not braid her hair with extensions you know her hair is pretty sh is pretty short and i just wanted something that would save my time and save her time as well because it took hours you remember the song that said it cost the much because it took me freaking hours exactly this style will take your time trust me so you just have to think of the fastest way possible because trust me you don't have that time do you so i decided to braid our hair instead of extensions i used the mali hair so what i did was just open the ends of the mali hair that's the tip of the um of the strand so what i did was braid her hair with two strands of the mali hair haven't opened the ends okay For some of you who would like to know to what extent I braided the hair, I braided her down to the length of her hair and I did braid further, I think about two inches more, then I twisted the remaining part of the Mali extension, right? Not to the end of the Mali extension, no, because it's so long, so it's just the, the smaller part you just, you know, fold over for the braids okay then the main part of the style which is the wrapping um i went on to use single strands of the water wave hair so i separated the hair right each piece you just separate them to ensure um you don't have problems getting the butterfly spikes if that makes sense okay um you need to be careful when you're doing this all right um, you don't want to wrap the skull of your client what i usually do is ask my clients if it's too tight that's after going two three times so the first two three times are usually tight but not too tight then the fourth and fifth are loose before i go ahead and start making my spikes i usually ask because when you make it when you wrap too tightly it will be difficult for your client to pack the hair and even for you after after styling you after wrapping rather you find it difficult to style the hair and 
again it is just detrimental to the scalp of your clients like especially those that have really soft scalp you don't want to have your clients complaining about scalp bombs and whatnot right so just ask i'm sure they're gonna let you know if it's too tight okay because the truth is we get carried away when we're wrapping i get carried away sometimes so i just put it out the back of my mind when it's time to wrap that oh you need to ask right so once i've done like the first strand of hair and i've wrapped i haven't asked the question subsequently i know okay this is how i need to wrap so my client doesn't feel such pain while some people achieve butterfly locks easily when they have nails on some people also achieve butterfly locks even without nails all right so in this video i did not have any artificial nails on right and how i went about wrapping easily was um when i you know use the tip of my thumb to hold onto a part of the hair the water with hair i wrap above the spike and the next trap is underneath that spike i hope you understand this so if you want to wrap and um, ensure your butterfly spikes are intact to form the spike wrap above it wrap below it okay i think that's the simplest way to explain this if you do not understand just let me know in the comment section i'll be very very kind to explain this to you So we we're done wrapping and it was time to trim so i went out to trim the excess molly hair um some people actually wrap up the excess instead of trimming them off but it was gonna be too much and too heavy too thick at the end of the lock so it makes sense it just made sense that i trimmed the excess off because we already achieved the length we wanted which was bomb Next, I applied the hair mousse to the base of the locks, oil shirt, and extra hold spray, and I went on to use my blow dryer to dry it up. Thank you for staying through to the end of this video guys i really appreciate your time if you do like what you see please do well to give it a like share to friends to sisters you know to people finding it difficult to achieve styles with their short hair i hope this is helpful to them as well if you haven't subscribed come on please hit the subscribe button and of course ensure to turn on the notification bell you guys take a look at that butterfly locks after one month like she literally sent this to me i was like i still love my hair like she's still stunning thank you for subscribing thank you for liking and i look forward to your comments see you guys in my next video bye